In this video, we'll talk about downtown driving. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Shine from Zula Driving School and let's get right into talking about downtown driving. So due to the busy nature of downtown, driving there can be a bit hectic at times. So here are a few tips to help you out. Many downtown cores have one-way streets. Usually if you encounter a cross street in one direction, chances are the flow of traffic at the next cross street will be in the opposite direction. In other words, they alternate. Now, this is not a rule, so the best way to make sure about the direction of traffic is to check for the one-way signs posted. We talked about one-way streets in another video, so be sure to check it out. Now moving on, there's usually more pedestrians crossing at crosswalks and sidewalks, so you need to scan carefully before making turns or going through intersections. Also scan parked cars as they can pull away without signaling and they're great at hiding pedestrians that are about to step out, let's say to jaywalk. Now on one-way streets, you can usually park on either side of the road. However, if you choose to parallel park on the left side of the road, know that when you come to leave the parking spot, you may have a hard time seeing the traffic that's on the road using your right side mirror, especially if there's a vehicle parked behind you. So take that into account before opting for parallel parking on the left side. However, it's not a bad practice to perform parallel parking on the left hand side as your perspective will be different even though the fundamentals of the parking maneuver stay the same. Now, if you're driving in downtown at nighttime, there's a chance you'll encounter drunk jaywalkers. Be on the lookout and prepare to stop if need be. As usual, if you see people approaching a crosswalk or you see another vehicle slowing down or stopping at a crosswalk, prepare to stop as well. Now, much like we mentioned in our video on rush hour driving, always be looking well ahead to see if the traffic is getting backed up on the other side of the intersection. If it is, think about what will happen if you enter the intersection. Will you be able to clear it or not? If you have doubts as to whether or not you'll be able to clear the intersection, you should decide to stop behind the stop line until such time that there's enough room for you to proceed. Now, in some downtown cores, you may find lanes that change the direction of traffic depending on the time of day. The reason this is done is to allow more efficient traffic flow into and out of the city core during peak travel times. So be on the lookout for lane control signals and abide accordingly. So there you have it. Essentially, when you go into downtown, go into high alert mode. This is really not the time to be engaging in lengthy discussions with your passengers or turning up your music full blast. Driving in downtown really does require your undivided attention. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we offer an online video training course on our website at www.zula.ca. In that course, we show you actual footage of downtown driving and how we deal with it. Be sure to check it out. Also, it's one thing for me to stand here and talk to you about downtown driving. It's another for you to get out there with your driving instructor or your co-ed driver and drive in downtown. Thank you and I hope to see you in another video soon.